Good morning, YouTubers. It's a case of buyer beware. I got these fat guy belts at the thrift store, and I'm cutting them down to size. And I thought it was leather until I started cutting it down, and I see it's got this in between. I mean, this might be some kind of leather on the outside, or they really glued two thin pieces together to make a, a thick belt. Make you think you're getting a piece of thick cowhide. But that's not the case. I got this punch here. And I marked some holes out. For my waist. So I try to find the center line. I'm going to try and get them three quarters of an inch apart. You're trying to keep your punch in the center of the belt, too, obviously. I put them three quarters of an inch apart because if it's genuine leather, you know, it stretches out and, and you have to go move, have another hole pretty close. Sometimes you lose weight or gain weight. And you can punch them from the, the back side. I do the front side first to make it look a little cleaner. That's neat enough. Now, see, that first one's not tight enough, but as you wear it, it'll stretch out. Double belted, steel belted radials. And this other one, I just took this round object here, made some marks on there. We'll see if this one's real leather. Yeah, you gotta kinda get the light where you can follow the line. And these leverage scissors are the best. Nobel Prize material. And what you do with the rough edges, you either you get some sandpaper or a grindstone, you can smooth it out, or a belt sander, and then go over with shoe polish to cover it up. Yeah, now this one, this belt looks like real leather. You can, you can see when you cut in, it's the real deal, the real McCoy. What got me at, you know, I was shopping at the thrift store and I, obviously the light's not very good. But you can barely see the China logo there. 
I mean, and they 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 dyed it on the outside here, so you quit you can't see that it's composited together. So buyer beware. God bless the YouTubers. Oh, I got to show you something else here. Where's it on the table? Over here. You guys that sharpen your eyes when you're holding the handstone here, after after a while you get a wiggly wiggly pretzel effect here. So you're better off, you know, using a, a wood block. Otherwise you end up with that effect. For kitchen knives, it's okay. All right. God bless the YouTubers. We're out of here. Oh, another candy tip. This bug out bug out clone from Walmart. What I do after I tighten it and adjust it, I get a little little bit of cooking oil in there for lubricant. And this is the first knife I've had where you where you have to flip it open and it's kind of cool. You got to keep your fingers out of the way here. That's what I learned. To, that's a trick with that baby. All right, this video's done. God bless the YouTubers.